material on Revolution Lane is a lot of the old stuff. There was only a couple new songs. What what happened was when we uh, when we had um, when we were going to do the new version of everything, we were going to take all those old recordings and just drag them into the trash ceremoniously, get rid of this old obsolete record that we'd been making since we were um, since we. Uh, had these uh, since we had these new this new plan um, so we chucked everything right thinking that we were going to make this new great record well um, in Pro Tools you know uh, in Pro Tools when you uh, throw everything away the, the audio files still exist right so we had been waiting that whole year to get the live band together and to do the new record. When Nathan died, there was nothing. I mean, we'd never gotten the band together and recorded. Uh, so uh, I had to retrieve all of the little specks of audio files from the hard drive that weren't labeled, that it just had numbers on them. And uh, reconstruct Nathan's vocal. That was the thing that I prioritized. And, it, you know, technically it was a nightmare. It doesn't take so much patience. It's, uh, it, it's too painful. Because you'd bring up a file and you'd have to figure out what song it's from, you know. But um, what was difficult was when you'd bring up a file and it's just him laughing, you know, before the take starts or whatever and it sounded like he's right there. That, that was what was tough. The first year I really, I couldn't, you know, couldn't do it. <laughs>